just a quick little video update. We got the next little upgrade here from a little solar solar building here. Uh, got the midnight solar big baby box here. Wanting to run the panels in series and coming down uh, off the roof and in series you ain't gonna be able to use them little 12 volt blade fuses anymore that I've been using. So I'm getting a little closer to uh, upgrading that. Got uh, got the baby box and uh, a couple of uh, DC breakers for it. Uh, they look, I got them from from Alt E again. They seem to be pretty quick on the ship. I mean, good. Um, and Midnight Solar is brand. The quality of these breakers seem to be pretty good. I haven't used too many DC breakers, but uh, they seem pretty nice. The box seems nice. Plenty of knockouts on the top, then the bottom. Um, got the knockouts, and this takes four on the den rail. Take a look at it in here. Pull these screws off right quick. Let y'all get a look on the inside. That's probably what y'all are curious about. All right, here's the top for the cover. What's worn labels, and there's the inside. If you get a good look in it, I don't know if I'm blocking the light or not. But well, it's just, yeah, basically a panel. Here, this might help. There. You should be able to see it now. You got a ground lug. Now, I think you can do AC with this as well. And they got uh, bus bars you can put in here a, uh, a, a white one. A black one and a red one. Uh, so you can kind of color cut it to AC or DC with uh, black and white. Um, you, know, you could use red and black for DC if you want to do that. But it looks to be built pretty good. You know, just a basic little box. Uh, they, it comes with the ground lug installed here. But it doesn't come with those little bus bars I was telling you about. At least not the way I got it. But I, you know, got it pretty cheap. There's other sources, but all these seem to have it the cheapest. So I'm getting closer to having more than one panel. I'm gonna be glad when I get that done and charge my batteries back up a little quicker. Um, while I'm gone, I don't care how long it takes. But when I'm home, it sucks. Takes so long, <laughs> especially on cloudy days. It's been overcast all week. But we need to uh, figure out a place to mount that box on the wall here. I'd like to also find maybe eventually I'll actually start getting the multiple panels up there in the series. A weatherproof one to be able to shut it off air because up there with the panels just in case. Or, you know, if a wire shorts out between here and there, which hopefully it doesn't. But then I'll have a way to cut it off here at the breaker. As far as the throw a little update on the, the Midnight Solar's the kid, my charge controller back there. I'm still loving it. It still does awesome. It uh, does really good considering it's one panel. As I say, it's just the Renogy 100 watt panel up there. And uh, now the batteries are a little bit low, but I've seen it churning 80 watts, six and a half amps uh, the other day. I ran the batteries down, it was full sun. And it was churning six and a half amps into the uh, the batteries off that panel. But now the batteries are a little low, and you know it's running the panel up at 18.9. So I think that's why the six and a half, because uh, the panel says 5.29 amps at maximum efficiency. But like I said, the batteries were pretty low that day. So I think that's how I got it up there, the six and a half. But it's certainly, I certainly love it. Uh, I think it's just going to get better when I get more panels up there. And... Um, and maybe if I get some bigger batteries or, you know, even with the diversion loader that it can do with the load, the uh, load circuit, you can use it as a diversion or whatever else. There's a lot of features in there I haven't even begin to play with yet, but uh, it's still working awesome. I just want to feed it with some more panels, but I'm getting closer on my little shoestring budget. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's it for now. And... Y'all have a good day.